Hi, I'm Jacob Kirkbride and welcome to WD Sports for tonight's game in the Essex Senior League between Enfield FC and Ilford FC here at Cattens Lane Stadium. It should be a crack up. Come and join me and let's see how the evening unfolds. So both sides come into tonight's game on the back of two very good results. For Enfield FC, a 5-1 win over Clapton in the Essex Senior League. As for Ilford FC, a 5-1 victory in the FA Vars. Very hard to pick out a match winner. Should be a lot of attacking threat at both ends of the pitch. Man men to watch out for tonight include Oli Miles and Yems Adelaney, who are banging form at the moment. Be interesting to see whether they get on the score sheet this evening. So I'm now delighted to be joined by Ilford FC manager Adam Peake. Adam, how do you how do you see tonight's game? Um, oh, this is the Essex Senior League, so uh, anything can happen. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's, a, it's 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 the last game before lockdown, um, which you know we're pleased to get the game on. I know it's been moved venue, but we're pleased that that's on. Um, you know, I've, I hope it's a good game. Um, I, I, I know it's going to be a difficult one. It'll it'll be a challenging encounter, but. Um, you know, hopefully we can end this period on a, with, a, with a good good performance and a good win. Coming off the back of a 5-1 win um, in the FA Vars over the weekend, um, how would you say your team are going to set up tonight going into it? Well, I mean, the reality is we're very Jekyll and Hyde. Um, you look at the results, uh, our cup form has been fantastic. We've got through three rounds of the Vars. We've had some good league performances and bad ones. Um, you know, we drew nil-nil in midweek last week to Salford's Earth and go and put that amount of goals away at the weekend. So, um, if the boys play with the intensity they did on Saturday in the second half and they stick to the plan and the way that we want to play, we, we know we're a threat to, to teams going forward. Um, but it's, as I always say, it's up to the boys when they cross the line, they've got to be able to give the same level of performance. Um, you know, the team's pretty much, that we've got two changes which are in force because the player's not available. So, you know, we expect the same sort of level of performance. Yeah, despite Enfield not being at their first choice home, how yeah. important is it to not take them lightly tonight? Oh, we don't take any team lightly. It doesn't matter where, where you are, where you're playing. This league, this league is, is um, a very, Unpredictable is probably the word. You know, it, it's not always about who's the best side. It's about who's who does the right things on the day, um, and that's the, the hard stuff. You know, working hard, winning your battles, um, you know, defending right, putting your chances away, getting a bit of luck. So we don't take any team lightly. That's for sure. And we know, you know, that they're a side that is a bit like us. They, you know, they've had some good wins and they've had some tough wins. So, you know, for us, we focus on what we what we know we can do, and we'll stick to that plan. And if if we, know, if we do that, then I'm convinced we can get something from the game. Yeah, it looks like the preparation's going well amongst your squad yeah. at the moment. Adam, wish you all the best of luck tonight. Mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. WD Sports. We film all types of sporting events and football matches across London. We also produce a range of sports contents by using the latest video technology and editing software to ensure we provide the best filming and production services. To find out more about our packages, please visit our website at www.wdsports.com. You would also find the link to our website in the description below. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this lower end of the table clash once more. And it's Enfield against Ilford, these two sides really, really needing some points. Ilford, of course, I did commentate on in my last game and they won 3-0. There's some very, very interesting goals. Will they get some interesting goals in this one? That is the question. And uh, Adam Peake, the manager, will be hoping for his team to get a little bit of momentum, especially going into a potential second lockdown. I think both of these clubs will want to end on a positive note. As it's going to be a big, big break up until December and football at this level will be postponed. Very frustrating for us non-league lovers. Not understandable in the current climate. And we are underway. Enfield kicking from left to right in the white kit. Ilford in red. They're changed strip for this week. 
And uh, I've always said, you know, with teams down the lower half of the table, not quite as good defensively, we can always get some crazy action, some crazy play. And uh, Ilford are coming forward here. And it's a good ball here. Oh, and they're in already. And it's a goal already for number nine, Agyamang. Adiyani with a fantastic ball through. And Agyamang just slots it underneath the goalkeeper. And about 32 seconds in. It's a wonderful goal. Really well works. Look at that for a finish. Cool, composed. And Ilford have the lead. And I think my point about lower end of the table teams and their defensive woes could maybe stand. It's a long throw taken into the penalty area. It's headed out. It's come back out to the edge of the box. And that's a poor effort. Never really going to trouble the goalkeeper with that one. Suter watches that. That's a nice ball. Bochy beats his man here, Bochy. He's still going, he's wiped out there. That's a strong challenge to say the least. Free kick just outside the box. It's driven and it's gone just wide. That was a close run from Miles. Not too bad of an effort. Ilford enjoying a decent amount of possession here. That's a fairly poor touch, but that's a poor touch, and so is that. And they're in again here. Oh, what a wonderful save by Suter. Ilford with a chance to make it 2-0. Some pretty dodgy touches. And straight at the goalkeeper in the end. Maybe could have done better. I think it was Adiani with the shot. And approaching the 20-minute mark. Ilford still with the lead, but it's a very slender one. And the clearance is maybe intercepted. It was a decent little attempt of a touch there. They can break forward here again with Bochy. Miles, he skips in. Oh, what a finish! That is a superb goal from Ollie Miles. And Enfield equalise. I said it was a slender lead and moments like that can bring the game right back into a contest. Brilliant play from Bochy and Miles again though. Those two looking like the two danger men in this game for Enfield. That's a superb finish. Keeper maybe would be a bit disappointed with that. It was pretty much straight down the middle of the goal. As you can see, yeah, goalkeeper might be disappointed with that. But I think just the sheer power on the shot. There's bodies in the way maybe. Can't see it until late. He would have done very well to save that. momentum is going to be with Enfield now Ilford probably just have to try and see this out and make sure that they maybe try and hit them on the counter attack as they could do here and it's another chance here for Agumang he's got Adiani to his left but he goes for the shot and in the end Suter puts it out for a corner Adiani calling for the ball there it's a good save actually by Suter got down low really well it's a difficult stop that Corner is going to be taken by number two, Stephen, uh, Stephen Hales. That's a throw in, not a corner. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a throw in there, the way he lined up for that one. That's a good shot. Oh, it's a wonderful shot. <laughs> what a goal. What an unbelievable finish by Bochy. I said he was one of the danger men, and that is why. Used his man as almost like a mannequin just to curl it around him into the top corner and Josh Blackburn beaten twice now by two superb goals well, they must have thought that they had this covered Ilford just a simple throw in touches it down at this point you think oh, we're pretty safe but look at this for a finish perfect spin on it on his instep, curls it into the far corner and you can see by the reaction of uh, Miles there how good that goal is. That's another throw in that's taken, it's flicked on by Miles, Bochy backs into his man. Real physical presence Bochy. And here he is again, lovely footwork and he's curled it again, it's a good save this time from Blackburn. 
He's not being beaten that time. He's determined to make a good save. And that is a good save as well. Uh, he'll be fuming about letting those two goals in. Enfield definitely looking dangerous now. Corner is taken. It's a good one as well. And it's in. I think it's Bochy again who's got it. What a game he's having. I think that's two goals and an assist now for him. He's running Ilford ragged. He is the main man for Il Enfield in this game. Joseph Bochy. Hats off. Because... He's having an absolute worldy of a performance. Really good header at the near post. Three players there, though, for Ilford. You'd really think that they would have at least got someone to defend him. It's poor marking, but Enfield won't care. They're 3-1 up. On Blackburn to take. Ilford could really do with some momentum going forward. But here come Enfield again. And it's Hales. That's a decent little ball there. Headed away and it's fallen back. Oh, what a strike again. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost lost for words. Every single goal that Enfield have scored, really, have been of the highest quality. What an unbelievable finish by Jack Johnson. Oh no, sorry, I think it's Reese Conway. Have I, have, I, have I done it again? I think I've done it again. I've got the number wrong. It is Reese Conway, number eight. What an unbelievable goal. He's just driven it into the corner first time. Look at the technique on that. Absolute bullet into the corner. And Conway with a corker. I think we should maybe retake another class in learning how to read numbers. That's a good chance here for Ilford, actually. And it's played. Is that a penalty? It has to be a penalty. It is. Walker was fouled. Agumon was some. Agumon and uh, Adiani were in there. Adiani causing problems and. Uh, Walker is fouled and it's going to be a penalty and a chance to get within two goals. It is Adiani. Steps up. Oh, and it's off the bar and over. He's missed it. And the deficit remains at three and there is the half-time whistle. Not the best way to end the first half, but it's been a very poor first half for Ilford. But for Enfield, goals of the highest quality from Miles, two from Bochy and a brilliantly driven effort by Conway not Johnson uh, as I would have you believe but uh, yeah, mistakes happen and we've seen that the first goal was a mistake as well from the Enfield defence, Ilford getting through within 30 seconds but Enfield have really turned the game on its head and are probably going to see this out. I'd be very surprised if they gave this lead away. But at half time here, it's Enfield 4, Ilford 1. With iSports analysis, coaches, players and referees can view full copies of non-league football matches to analyse their own performances and scout the opposition before the next match. For more information and subscription details, please get in contact with WD Sports. Welcome back for the second half and uh, what will hopefully be a more positive half for Ilford. I think it's probably just the case of score management, trying not to get absolutely battered really. Whether they can weather another storm is yet to be seen. Not too much happening in the second half so far. It's a decent flick on. Oh, and it's another miscue. 
And it's another chance for Enfield here. Oh, it's a decent save by Blackburn and then cleared away. They're trying to scramble it away, but Bochy is in there again. Cleared again. And this time maybe they can get it through. No. Conway intercepts it. It's a poor pass. And the chance has gone now, but that was a decent chance. I think it was number seven, Isaac Stevens, maybe, who was going in there. It's a long throw by Mossero. Headed away. It's back to him. He's hooked it in. Headed away, and it's an effort on the volley. Wow. It's uh, a pretty simple catch there for Suter. He's had more difficult saves in this game. It's another loose pass from Ilford. Hales onto it. Bochi there. Yet again, getting the ball, collecting from deep. Sprays it out wide now. It is Stevens. Couple of step over, Stevens curls it. That's a corner, decent save by Blackburn. I think it was going wide, but he didn't know that. Had to put it out for a corner. Ilford's defence are doing him no favours, really. Nice bit of footwork, decent effort. I think it was going wide in the end, but you can never be too sure as a goalkeeper. You don't want to let one in by accident. Oh, corner, yeah, again. Going to be taken where well, it's whipped in and it is another goal from a corner and I think this time it is Johnson who's got it. Am I right in thinking? <laughs> yeah, it is number five. Jack Johnson does get his goal. Well, it's almost as if I predicted the future with that one. <laughs> And it's another brilliantly worked corner, to be fair. It's another really good delivery, but Ilford's defending leaves a lot to be desired. Blackburn comes out, gets nowhere near it. And yet again, there's about three players around the Enfield man, but he gets the decisive touch. And Jack Johnson, I think, can thank me later for uh, writing those goals up in the stars. Oh, Hales gets it out of play. And approaching 65 minutes now in this half, well, in this game. It's a bit of head tennis going on here. Bochy brings it down and he's fouled there. Uh, it's another free kick. So many fouls given away by Ilford today. Enfield have had decent success from set pieces as well. Not a good combination. Well, Thomas has stood over this one as well. It is going to be Thomas. And it's deflected into the path of Miles, I think. He's gone down here. The referee blowing his whistle a number of times. Miles is in serious discomfort. Oh, here come Enfield again. Oh, Bochy. That's a strong challenge on Bochy. The referee has waved play on to the absolute disgust of the. Enfield faithful and it's whipped in, it's headed away. Can they get it away now, Enfield? Stevens picks up the ball and puts it out of play. Bochy, I think, is still down. Oh, it's been a comfortable game for Enfield. About five minutes to go. That's a good flick on from the goal kick as well. Uh, decent defending in the end. And it had to be because Enfield yet again looking dangerous. It's Conway. A nice little touch by Miles. It's going to be another free kick for Enfield. I'm sort of losing track of how many they've actually had in this game. It's getting a bit ridiculous at this point. Crazy stuff. It's going to be another one. It's going to be whipped into that corridor and it's flicked on. Oh, what a header that is! That is a superb header. What a wonderful, wonderful goal. Really well worked and it's Ollie Miles with his second of the game. He's done really, really well to direct that right into the top corner. You have to say, Enfield's goals have been absolutely superb in this game. Look at that, he's stooping down and he's managed to get the spin and the height on it. That is a really, really good...
good header. A world class finish. Deserving of a higher level that. That is really, really good from Miles. Malcolm Ilford. Can they get at least some form of a consolation? Not quite happening for them there. It's played forward and it's gone all the way through to Suter. It's been a pretty comfortable evening for him as he drops onto the ball. Little bit of an exaggeration there to kill time, but you've got to rate that. They've played it really nicely. Here, look at this. One touch football. Here's Stevens again. Drifts past his man. Oh, and it's a lovely little flick. And it's a chance again. And Blackburn comes out and makes himself big this time. And a hooked effort over the bar. And that will probably be that for this game. Blackburn to take the goal kick. And there is the full-time whistle. A very, very impressive performance from Enfield. Six superb goals. Really well worked. I have to say, though, Bochy's brace. Very impressive. But uh, Ollie Miles as well with some fantastic goals. Rhys Conway and Jack Johnson getting goals as well. Ilford, despite taking the lead after, what was it, about 32 seconds, have fallen to a very heavy defeat here and their poor start to the season continues. For Enfield, it's a very good win. Doesn't get them too far up the league, has to be said. They're still fairly low down towards the lower end of the table. But it means that they at least get some distance between them and the bottom sides. They're on 11 points now. Bottom side, Woodford on three. So they're in 14th. Ilford in 15th. So real no, no big difference. But Enfield do leapfrog them. And it means now that they can maybe start to push up the table a bit. But full time here. It's finished. Enfield six. Ilford one. So now I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Enfield FC manager Jamie Curriton. Jamie, how would you sum up some of the strikes that some of your players put in tonight? Um, really good. Um, we had an honest conversation before the game um, about working hard. Um, and that was sort of what we probably haven't done in previous games. And I said, you know, if you do that and work hard, compete, the quality we've got in the dressing room, you know, you'll go on and, and, and win football matches. <clears throat> we didn't start well. Obviously, went 1-0 down after I think it was 30 seconds. So you sort of fear the worst. But um, <clears throat> Ollie Miles has come up with a, with a great equaliser. And then uh, Joe Bush, he's, you know, produced a wonder strike, which he's capable of doing. Um, very good player. Um, just sort of lets himself down sometimes in the final third with his decision making. But tonight he, he's been outstanding. So, um, yeah, to, to sort of go one down and then, you know, go in at the half, four, one up. Um, I was very pleased. So, um, yeah, and I suppose after finishing 6-1, I'm, I'm a happy man. Yeah, I guess that also sums up the, the work ethic in your squad at the minute. Conceded so early on and then to go on in the game and score six goals, um, must be absolutely delighted from a manager's point of view to witness that. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you always want reactions. Um, and obviously going one down so, so early could have folded a bit. <clears throat> you know, we obviously lost our last game to, to Saffron Walden, so... You know, you can always have a bad reaction, but the reaction I said to him at halftime was outstanding. To, to then go and equalise and then, you know, score another three goals. Um, keep us done very well on a couple of occasions, which kept us, you know, the score sort of down. Um, and then we've gone on produced. And <clears throat> I think with the hard work, you then see once you've done that, the quality starts to come out. So, yeah, as a manager, really pleased. And at halftime, I said to him, you know, don't rest on your laurels. Go out and go again. And, and they've gone and done that. And I think they dominated the, the second half as well. You know, got another two goals. Um, so yeah, for me it's sort of like a perfect perform performance, you know, apart from probably the first couple of minutes. Um, they've done everything I've asked of them tonight. Oli, another goal for him. Mm -hmm. um, he's a man banging form right now, but that goal from Joseph in the first half, what an unbelievable strike with the left foot straight into the top corner. That, that must be one of the best goals you've seen. Yeah, definitely, and, and he's got that. You know, um, like I said, he, he's, we've, we've got him sort of down from Stortford and we sort of become our player now. <clears throat> and I think it's because his top end, he's very good on the ball and it's just his final delivery, whether it's an assist or, or goals. And I've been on him. You know, and saying he's got all the ability in the world, but he then needs to produce, you know, at the end of it. And he's got two goals tonight. 
he was outstanding throughout, um, but he's worked hard, and that's the biggest thing for me at the moment. I think in certain games we haven't worked hard enough, um, but tonight we've worked hard all over the pitch, <clears throat> and we've got our rewards for it. Um, you know, Isaac Stevens has come in, and Reese Conway, two new signings, um, and they've literally walked through the dressing room, not met anyone. Both played. Reese has been outstanding. Box to box midfielder scores a great goal, and, and Isaac's been been very good tonight as well. So, you know, we're happy with that. You know, we're building a squad, and, and we're trying to compete at this level and, and, and push the club forward. And um, tonight's a, a real big result for us. You know, we're going to sort of a lockdown now. So I said to them, you know, don't go into a lockdown losing. You know, you've got a month off um, before we start back again. So this is a perfect sort of result. You know, go and win, go and have a break, keep fit, and then when we come back, you know, I'll expect standards exactly the same. Jamie, onwards and upwards, mate. Um, enjoy uh, the time off that you're going to have. It's a shame that we're not going to see um, games in the next few weeks, but um, hopefully uh, we'll be back on the pitches soon and we'll be able to grind out brilliant results like you put in tonight. Brilliant, appreciate that. Thank yeah, you very cheers, much. Cheers, Jamie. So a 6-1 win for Enfield FC tonight against Ilford FC and some absolutely unbelievable strikes in that game. Joseph Bochy in the first half, fantastic strike on his left foot. Top bins flew in like a rocket. Honestly, I can't wait to have the highlights brought out for that one again. You won't see many better strikes than that in the Essex Senior League this season. For Ilford, however, hopefully it's just one blip and after the lockdown they can work on the mistakes that they've been making in this game tonight. As you're aware, we're about to go into a month's lockdown here in England, so the Essex Senior League will be on hold. But hopefully when we come back, it will be plenty of action, plenty of goals, and plenty more enjoyable football to look forward to here on WD Sports. Don't forget to like and subscribe.